Gillette, Gillette the Razor Company, oh, right? Oh, yes, the ad. Did anyone see this new ad that they put out? And, and the ad's been causing a lot of conversation. It's about toxic masculinity. And um, it said the best men can be is raising many questions. And we have a little clip of the ad we're going to show you. Bullying. The Me the Too movement against sexual toxic harassment. Toxic masculinity. Is this the best a man can get? Is it? We can't hide from it. Sexual harassment is taking over. It's been going on far too long. We can't laugh it off. Who's the daddy? What I actually think she's trying to say. Making the same old excuses. Boys will be boys. Boys will be boys. Boys will be boys. But something finally changed. So you got you guys get it. And, and, and at the top of the video, it mentioned bullying, the Me Too movement, toxic masculinity, and it asked the question: Is this the best that we can 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 get? But a lot of there's been some pushback. Yeah, to this, a lot of pushback. To this, a lot of pushback to this ad, and some people calling for boycotting the company. So I'm just curious: When you watched the ad, what was your initial feeling? Um, okay, so first of all. I, it, I felt it was a bit reductive, meaning it kind of went to the worst possible scenario in, in each one, and they tried to pack a lot in a minute and a half. I think one clarification is not all masculinity is toxic when we talk about that term, and it's not about the individual, because whenever I have this conversation with my husband, I'm like, this isn't mean that you did this. Yeah. As a society over time, we created an image of what men and boys should be. So when, um, as a man, when you watch that, you shouldn't see that it's directed right at you. It's saying we all did this as a society. So I think it's important, Carla and I were both saying, yeah. it starts a conversation, which I think is the important thing. I don't think they hit the mark because I'm more inspired in advertisements when you say like like Nike run like a girl it doesn't mean what it used to I'm like let's go run like I need I'm motivated by positive messaging so this felt it, it just missed the mark for me yeah well you know and, and I felt, I'm like you yeah, I think it wasn't pointed at the individual which at one point I'm I'm like well if you weren't raised that way which I I wasn't raised oh, that no, way you, you were raised well I've met yeah I was raised to just say yes whatever you ladies say I'll do it <laughs> but but, but I, I think what it does do, even if you weren't raised that way, but you are raising your kids. Yes. You are very conscious yes. of raising them the right way. Yes. Right. And not right. laxing and saying, oh, I wouldn't raise that way. My kids will get it. No, you have to teach kids. Yes. And I think that that's the lesson behind it. And it has started a conversation that we hope, hope to, that evolves into the most positive of ways. But I'm not boycotting. I need to shave, people. No. That's right. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.